Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we party. The 49ers are going to the Super Bowl. So I'm going to share three easy and delicious dishes for the big game. Jean's chicken enchilada dip, cowboy caviar, and beer mac and cheese. Well, it's really exciting that the 49ers are in the Super Bowl because the Niners are headquartered right here. And the owners, Denise and John York, they are very charitable and generous to the Mahoning Valley. And they have very good taste since they're one of your sponsors. That's right. (laughs) So let's party on Super Bowl Sunday and cheer on San Francisco. Go, Jimmy G. Cheers, Jimmy G. Let's start with my cowboy caviar recipe. Today I'm gonna prepare for you one of my new favorite party foods. Always love to see the seven layer dip when I go to a party. Love the buffalo chicken dip. And my neighbor, Carrie Watson, showed up at my house with cowboy caviar. It was so good. I went online, I tried to figure out the very best recipe because of course there's different ingredients depending on what your likes and dislikes are. But it is easy to assemble. It is loaded with flavor. It's pretty low cal and it's really easy to make. For this recipe you'll need one 15 ounce can of black beans and black eyed peas rinsed and drained. One cup of tomatoes diced one jalapeno pepper seeded and diced, one cup of fresh corn. That's about two ears, or you could use canned or frozen. One avocado chopped, one cup of red and or green bell peppers seeded and diced, one half cup of red onion diced, one bunch of cilantro leaves chopped, and four ounces of queso fresco cheese crumbled. So all we're gonna do is assemble it now. This is one can drained of the black beans and these are the black eyed peas. So we'll dump that into the bowl. And then the pepper, I use both. This is a medium sized red bell pepper and this is the green. I mean, this is so pretty. And then the corn, it is corn season. So I used two ears and cut that off. You can use frozen, and uh, in a pinch if you need to, just use canned corn. And then the red onion, you can soak this in water if you find it has too much of a bite. Or, you know, I was thinking, I haven't tried it, but I bet you um, the green onion and a little bit of the stem would be good in this too. And then I have the tomatoes. And what I did was quarter cherry tomatoes for that and the jalapeno. This was a larger jalapeno. You could also leave that out if you don't like the heat. And then we have the cilantro. Love cilantro. Some people don't, they think it's soapy tasting. If you don't like it, leave it out or use parsley. All right, so we have all of these ingredients in here. And what we're gonna do is just mix this up Look at that now, isn't that pretty? And it smells so good, and there's a lot of it. Now I'm gonna set this aside, and then what I'm gonna do is assemble the dressing, but I want to remind you, if you are cooking this, or (laughs) preparing this in advance, I would add the queso cheese at the very end, and the avocado, because you know, avocados tend to brown. So make sure you add that dice the very last thing and mix it up and uh, the queso. But you can go as far as the dressing and all those other ingredients if you wanna prepare that the night before because the flavors really do blend together well. And uh, let's assemble the dressing. For the dressing you'll need one third cup of olive oil, one quarter cup of fresh squeezed lime juice, one half tablespoon of honey, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of red wine vinegar, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and salt and pepper to taste. Now this is really easy. 
We're going to start with the olive oil. Now there's a lot of ingredients in here too. If you don't like some of them, feel free to leave them out. The cumin, I like heat, so I am adding chili powder and I am adding cayenne. And then just to thicken it up and it kind of takes a little bit of the heat off is the honey. I've never really used honey in my dressings, but I think you're gonna like it in here. And then a little red wine vinegar, and then some fresh squeeze lime juice, and garlic powder, last but not least. All right, so we put that in, and then we just give this a good beating. Mm, you're really gonna like this. Now, I really like avocado. You could add a few if you want, but this one came out pretty good. So I am just dicing it. And you wanna keep everything at about a half an inch dice. And look at that, I just love avocado. And this really adds a nice smoothness to the dish. All right, so now the avocado's in. Here's what we're gonna do now. Add the dressing. Mm. and just mix that up and make sure everything is blended together. The smells, the textures, the flavors. I am telling you, you're gonna love this. All right, so now that that's there, um, you know, the queso is really flaky. So they come in wheels, about eight ounce wheels. So I'm using about a half a wheel in here. And then you just grind it up with your hands and make sure it crumbles nicely. The texture of this isn't quite feta-like. It's a little more pliable, but it has such a nice flavor to it and it just adds another dimension to this dish. Mm. This is amazing. And this is a fresh one. Wait till you taste it <clears throat> after a few hours in your fridge. Oh, and of course a margarita would be good, but I found a really nice crisp wine. And this is Foon Blanc from um, Ferrari Carano. And it says it's a Sauvignon Blanc too, but it's really not. It doesn't have that heavy grapefruit taste. It's just really light, refreshing, nice palate cleanser. So, caviar, what do you think of that? Cowboy caviar. Go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com, and you'll get the recipe for this and the dressing. And remember, it's versatile. What you don't like, take out, and if you think I missed something, add it to that. And uh, you are going to love it. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. I am here with Rude the Dude at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery, and you know they have a huge beer selection, but you have really upped your wine and, of course, your entree selection. Yes, we did. We added about 30 new bottles of wine, um, also supporting some of our local wineries here. Uh, wine on tap with Willen Cellars and Hubbard. And then here we have, this is on our menu daily, our cedar plank salmon with our house-made uh, blueberry salsa and vanilla porter barbecue sauce. And that is just one of the many entrees that you can choose if you have your party over in the wine and spirits room. You can really select your menu, beer, wine, everything you want. Yes, we customize your party to however you like it. Uh, we're actually starting to get booked up for graduations and weddings already for next year. Uh, this whole month's booked up and uh, it's a good place. Seats up to 150 and it's a good place to have a party. That's right. Celebrate at the Magic Tree Pub and Deedery. Cheers. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, 
There are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilhelm is your full service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Wilhelm. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilhelm, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old Road Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Si hablas predominantemente español, te ayudaremos a aprender inglés. Ven a trabajar para nosotros. You are going to love the recipe that I am about to make. I borrowed it from the Beach House Cookbook. My new best friend, Mary Kay Andrews. She was a guest of the Literary Society, part of the Public Library of Youngstown and Mahoney County. And she came into town. She is a New York Times uh, best-selling author, 24 novels. And in a lot of her books, she mentions a recipe or two. And she compiled all of these recipes from herself, her husband, her mother, her friends. And it's really a beautifully written and well done book with lovely pictures. And uh, she was really a neat lady. And this recipe I'm about to make is her sister-in-law's recipe. It's called Jean's Chicken Enchilada Dip. For this recipe, you'll need three large bone-in chicken breasts, one pound of cream cheese softened, one and a half cups shredded sharp cheddar cheese, one and a half tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of hot sauce, one teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of paprika, and one 10 ounce can of diced tomatoes with green chilies undrained. You'll also need one half cup of fresh cilantro and four green onions chopped. Now I've already prepared the chicken breasts and I followed her recipe to the T. I bought three bone in skin on chicken breasts and I put them in water, boiled them for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then after they cooled, took the skin off, deboned it, and then shredded it. I imagine this would work fine if you were to get a rotisserie from the grocery store, but her recipe calls for doing it this way. So this is already prepared, and it's in the recipe, you'll see it. So now let's get the sauce going. It goes on that wonderful chicken breast. I softened a pound of cream cheese. I bought the low fat, just trying to cut some calories here. So it's already softened, but take your hand mixer and blend it and get it really nice and fluffy. So see, it looks almost like cake frosting. Uh, it's delicious. So now it's a little more whipped up, has some air in it. And now we're going to add the sharp cheddar hot sauce. Now, if you don't like things with a little spice, you can forget this ingredient. I like it, I doubled it. Instead of one a tablespoon, I think I added two, because I like it hot. Also the oregano, the paprika, let's get all that in there. I mean, and these flavors are so nice. They really don't taste like an enchilada. And then the chili powder, get all that in there. Cumin, and the minced garlic. So now that all these ingredients are in there, we will blend it together, whip it up, and stir it to combine. And everything else will be adding and stirring by hand. So this is the three shredded chicken breasts. And then, to loosen things up, because this is quite thick, 
add the can with tomato and chilies and leave all the juices in. That is very important to do. Also, our cilantro. Hold back just a little bit so you have garnish for when you serve it. And then our green onions. And I chop these pretty fine so they all mix together nicely. This is quite a mess. But it's a beautiful mess. And now we'll just stir this and get it all combined thoroughly. And it's such a pretty color. The tomatoes stand out and the green onion and the cilantro and the, oh, it is really a nice presentation. Look at that. It's beautiful and it's cold. Not like that hot buffalo dip that I love so well when people are going out to a party. But so now all we have to do is cover this and I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator at least four or five hours overnight and uh, use it the next day. So we'll put this one in and uh, get my other one out that has been refrigerated overnight and we'll sample it. So you have not tasted the uh, no. enchilada recipe, have you? I have not. She was pretty cool, wasn't she? Oh, she, she? was. I have, she was really I've amazing. been looking at, uh, she's got some great ideas for the holidays. Yeah. Her she, Christmas one is great. And you know, she originally was from Ohio, the Cincinnati right. area, and then right. uh, moved, moved to Florida. Florida, Florida, then Atlanta, and uh, now she's a Georgia peach. Georgia peach. But she really was cool. And beat her novels, they're a lot of fun. She lives on um, in Atlanta and uh, Tybee Island, you know, where they made yes. the big chill. Yes, I was there with my girlfriends. Oh. And uh, because, of course, it is a enchilada dish, we are going to enjoy, uh, enjoy a Corona. Yes, we are. Okay, I know you didn't like beer, so I didn't give you that much. All right, so cheers. Cheers. Try the Corona. Oh, delicious. Now you got to try the dip. Tell me what you think. Mmm, mm, that is excellent. That's good. All those flavors just melt together. Mm. I mean, this will not last long at no, all when no. you serve this. This is a great recipe for the fall with football and. That's know. what I thought too for yeah. tailgating and stuff. I mean, it really is delicious. It's called Jeans Chicken Enchilada Dip. Mm. And all you have to do is go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. Ole. Ole. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering. Made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call locally owned Pebble Stone and receive 50% off. It's not just any stone, it's Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you, from cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. Your all-inclusive membership gives you access to a full-size basketball court, pool, hot tub, sauna, and steam room and over 60 classes per week are all included free with your membership. 
Membership and personal training specials are happening now, so come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. When you walk into Kamara Jewelers now, it's a completely different look. But it's also the same comfortable feeling that you get when you come in. There's more beautiful jewelry, more different designers to show you. So you can really see how much we love our job and the, everything that we're able to offer to our customers. So come to Kamara Jewelers, still the same people, same family ethics, 70 years, just a brand new look. You won't be disappointed. Get real, get Kamara. Well, everybody loves macaroni and cheese. And usually it's quite an ordeal to make because you have to make the roux and then you have to melt it down and all the milk and all the, I mean, it's really quite a bit of work. It was a whole day. But it's worth it. It is. How about this recipe? I had you over for dinner the other night. Could you believe it? How good it was? It was. And how easy, easy it, it was. was. It is five or six ingredients. It is beer based with cream cheese that adds your creaminess and then a pound of sharp cheddar. And I've added, I of course always have to tweak things. And then I use a little cayenne and a little nutmeg for flavoring. Yeah. And it comes together as quickly as the noodles boil. And that's it. And you are going to love this. You start with beer as a base. I am using harp because it's a lager, but also like a nice crisp IPA would work. I don't think a dark beer would work as well, but if you keep it on the light side, just use a beer that you would drink that is like a lager or an IPA, and this is the best recipe ever. So let's get started. I'll go over the ingredient list, and we're going to make my beer sauce, macaroni and cheese. For this recipe, you'll need one pound of a short cut pasta, 12 ounce bottle of lager or IPA beer, eight ounces of cream cheese, one pound of sharp cheddar cheese, freshly shredded, one eighth teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I've dropped the fusilli noodle because I think the little springs are nice. And over high heat, I I'm going to add my bottle of beer. There you go. And now I am also going to add the cream cheese. Now I am using full fat. I'm not going with the low fat cream cheese. You'll find that if you do, it's almost got a grittiness to it. It just doesn't melt down. So splurge on the calories, splurge on the good stuff. I'm going with the Philadelphia name brand. And all I'm gonna do is rub this around and break it up a little bit in the hot beer. And you're just gonna keep mixing it until it is smooth and it looks like a cream sauce. Now see how it's all smoothed out and it is all melted down. And it really just looks like warm milk. But you can see that it's bubbling on the edges. Keep it on high. And then, now is a good time to add your nutmeg, because you want it to blend in thoroughly, and your cayenne. If you're not a fan of any warmth, even though you really can't taste it, you don't have to add the cayenne. So now it's bubbling good. Where we're gonna reduce the heat to medium, and now a little bit at a time, we'll start to add the shredded sharp cheddar. I recommend shredding it yourself. It's a higher quality cheese and it melts down much nicer. If you buy the pre-shreds, there's some chemicals in there to make sure they don't stick together and clump. So just make sure you shred the pound of cheese yourself. And just make sure it melts in before each addition, just because you want it to really be creamy and smooth. All right, so our cheese is bubbling nicely. It's come together. Look at how beautiful and smooth. Now I will just take my drained pasta, add it in, 
and you just stir this in, put your heat down low, and you see it looks a little thin, but let it cook on low for three, four, five minutes, and it will thicken up and come together. That is delicious. It is. Can you believe how easy that is? Within a half hour, you have dinner. Exactly, as long as it takes the noodles to yeah. cook. It is so easy, it comes together. Of course, if you'd like to broil it. I thought that crunchy pretzels on top would be a fun topping if you like a little crunch, since it is beer-based. Or you could use uh, chopped bacon. You know, whatever you want. That's right. Seeds. Seeds. I like uh, sunflower seeds. I like a little crunch. Potato chips. Whatever you like. And of course, the perfect accompaniment. Might as well be a beer, since it's in the recipe. Nice, nice harp lager. Mm. Cuts uh, right it through. Does. Right through. It's really good. It's very, very, very good. This is so easy and so delicious. Just go to my website. It's my beer, sauce, macaroni, and cheese. You are going to love it. CaseyMaloneShow.com. See? Jelaine sold. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I am sold. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.